Anthony Albanese demanding that Christina Keneally be part of his front bench, and it looks like Ed Husick has bitten the dust to facilitate that. James O'Doherty joins us now from Parliament House. James, what's going on here? Well, you're right, Chris. Anthony Albanese has made it very clear today that Christina Keneally should be on his front bench, essentially demanding her being there. But the way that the Labor Party works, the front bench positions are determined by the factional votes, each faction deciding how many, or which one of their number, uh, gets elevated to the limited number of front bench positions. So for Christina Keneally to get on the front bench, someone in the New South Wales right would have needed to stand aside. That is Ed Husick. He has uh, conceded that he won't be seeking a new front bench role, taking to Facebook to announce that he's loved being a shadow minister, but he won't be running for re-election to that role. Instead, I'll be backing my great friend Christina Keneally for that spot, he says. We need to ensure someone of Christina's enormous talents has the opportunity to make a powerful contribution to the front line in the Senate. In the aftermath of the federal election, there are things we need to do to rebuild our standing, especially in the place that I love, Western Sydney. And I'll be doing just that, he says. But now, he says, it's time to focus on uh, the election of an Albanese government. This came pretty swiftly after Anthony Albanese fronted the cameras here at Can in Canberra on his way into Parliament House, essentially demanding... Christina Keneally get a front bench spot. Christina Keneally uh, will be a part of my team as far as I'm concerned. I've made that clear. Uh, she is certainly uh, worthy of a shadow uh, ministry position uh, with regard to all the other issues. We'll, do, we'll just talk those through. Uh, but I've made it very clear. And I make that comment because I've seen reports, uh, erroneous reports, that somehow uh, she would be uh, excluded uh, from the position. What I'm saying is uh, that I'm making it very clear as the leader of the Labor Party that I want the best team. The best team includes Christina Keneally. That... This isn't the only stoush in the Labor Party over front bench positions. We uh, read today that Bill Shorten was seeking the health portfolio in uh, in the way in instead of Catherine King, some uh, Labor MPs saying that's not a position that would be uh, suited to him. He was Anthony Albanese on whether Bill Shorten should be on the front bench. Bill Shorten will be respected as a former leader of the Australian Labor Party and I will treat him with appropriate respect. The caucus is supreme and I'm talking to caucus members, not with hats on, I'm talking to them about the Labor interest, not any factional interest, not any state interest, the Labor interest. Now, while Anthony Albanese prepares to organise his front bench team, the Labor Party is still waiting to see whether they'll get Susan Templeman back in their caucus, the uh, member for Macquarie in Sydney's West. That was going down to the wire with the margin yesterday, 67 votes in favour of Susan Templeman. That has now extended out into, uh, to about 190 votes, Anthony Albanese says, but there's other, other mail that suggests the margin could be even greater for Ms Templeman after an early lead by the Liberal candidate there. Uh, I've been told that all of the uh, postal votes which favour the Liberals have now been counted, and now they're just counting pre-poll declaration and absentee votes which have been favouring uh, Ms Templeman, Chris.